Hi students, coming to the next topic that is the characteristics of embedded systems. So the different characteristics of embedded systems are it is a sophisticated functionality, real-time operations, low manufacturing cost, low power consumptions, application dependent processor and restricted memory. So what is it sophisticated functionality? Whatever the embedded system you are taken, that embedded system uh, is uh, implemented so it all implemented the sophisticated functionality so here the de the degree can be vary from uh, appliance to appliance so whatever the appliance you are taking if you take the micro oven and if you take the washing machine or if you take the mobile phone for each uh, appliance the sophistication may be varying the degree of sophistication may be varying so it is highly all uh, all embedded systems are implemented with sophisticated functionality and coming to real time operations so whatever the embedded systems you are taken so that embedded systems are not always satisfy the real time opera operations actually the embedded systems are mainly designed to complete whatever the task that has to be completed within a particular time that is a concept but uh, if you take the real time operations not all the embedded systems will satisfy the real time operations so what is this real time operation the real time operations are nothing but operation has to be completed by deadline whatever the operation that is taking place that operation has to be completed by deadline so within a deadline it has to be completed so then you can say this is that system is a real time operation so there are two kinds of real time deadlines will be there one is the hard and one another is the soft so that we will explain later but i will just give the small uh, explanation about hard and the soft deadline here the hard deadline is nothing but we cannot really miss a deadline so once the deadline is fixed it has to be completed at any cost hard deadline soft deadline means we can miss the deadline also okay even though uh, if you sometimes by crossing the time also the work has to be completed but in the hard that work has to be completed within that deadline so that is the hard and soft means we can miss the deadlines and next is low manufacturing cost when compared to the general purpose systems this embedded systems is having low manufacturing cost the cost of manufacturing is less why it is cost of manufacturing is less because it is only uh, designed to perform particular tasks designed to perform particular task so that's why the manufacturing cost also reduced and low power consumption so it is doing only one single task means the power consumption is also less when compared to the general purpose systems and coming to the, it is uh, we are saying that embedded system is an application dependent processor so this is an application dependent processor and not a general purpose processor which we find in computers and here the restricted memory is there so whatever the embedded systems you are in whatever the appliances you are taking there is a restricted memory so these are the different characteristics of embedded system so let me explain you uh, as difference between the general purpose computer and embedded system so just now i said that uh, this is the application dependent processor and not the general purpose processor so what is this general purpose processor and what is the difference between this general purpose and the embedded system so if you think about the purpose the general purpose computer is a multi-purpose it is not designed to perform a particular task. If you are taking your computer system, you are not doing a simple task, single task on the computer system. You are doing lot of things on the system. You are going to, you are communicating and you are doing work and it is used for storage and it is used for communication. It is used for entertainment, everything. So it is a multi-purpose system. Whereas embedded system is a single function system. And coming to the constraint general purpose is low or no resource constraint so there is no resource constraint means whatever the devices if you want you can attach it to the general purpose system you can integrate so many devices to that system but whereas in embedded system there is a constraint for size power cost memory real time everything you have to be think about that while you are constructing the embedded system and coming to the performance obviously the general purpose computers is faster and better when compared to the embedded system because it is doing multitasking multi-processor systems whereas embedded system is a fixed runtime requirement 
and coming to the user interfaces the general purpose user interfaces are keyboards display mouse touch screens whereas for emirates systems it is in uh, these emirates systems or the user interface is integrated into real world like buttons sensors like that and for output it's just leds lcds okay and even bluetooth also so this this is the difference between the general purpose computer and embedded systems thank you